Eighty percent of the Japanese Brazilians did not consider the defeat of Japan as American propaganda. And the people who uh, accepted the reality that uh, Japan had lost the war were considered as traitors, people with dirty hearts. And what uh, the film revolves around is the conflict within the Brazilian immigrant community. Uh, Takahashi, uh, the main protagonist in the film, is a very decent, uh, hardworking immigrant. But he succumbs to the fanaticism of extremist groups uh, led by a, a former uh, officer of the Japanese Imperial Army. And what happens is that uh, he gets wrapped up in uh, assassination plots because people who did not believe the, uh, who did not believe that Japan was still victorious were being targeted for assassination. And Takahashi ended up as an assassin, uh, killing some of his, of his own friends. And the film is uh, narrated uh, of a scene from the perspective of his wife, Miyuki. Uh, interesting enough, uh, with the exception of a narration at the very beginning of the film and some words at the end, Miyuki doesn't say a word, but you're able to follow the, uh, what she, what's going on uh, just by the appearance of her eyes, a very powerful kind of, of acting. Uh, the, there's a larger message in this film, and it's that bad things can happen when uh, people and uh, when uh, people are uh, consumed by ideology, uh, which uh, takes over the sense of humanity uh, in uh, human lives, and uh, uh, this is fueled by uh, themes like suspicion and ignorance and hatred. Uh, actually, the, the killings done in the film are done by uh, uh, swords and guns. However, the real ki killer is ideology. And I think uh, there is much, uh, this is an anti-war film, and I think there is a lot uh, to consider and think about in this film. Thank you.